Hi Pisces, welcome to your weekly taroscopes. Uh, please keep in mind this is only general reading. Take what it feels right and what resonates with your own life experiences at the moment. Um, the way I do the reading is I draw three cards for the whole week. The first representing uh, the main opportunity, the second the main challenge, and the third the overall advice. I also draw a fourth card which intends to give more um, a than spiritual message wanting to bring to consciousness unconscious energies or patterns that may help you or affect you also during the week. So Pisces, it seems like you are facing a time of a lot of confusion, of a lot of indecisiveness, a lot of not knowing what to do and what direction to go, a lot of scattered uh, thoughts, a lot of scattered thinking and uh, deluding yourself most of the times, not wanting to take the lead role on your own life and the own situation that you are going through that it's causing you so much trouble, finding a way of grounding yourself and taking charge and action. Because as a main a main um, opportunity, you have the seven of wands reversed. So you are all around the place and you are not really um, standing in your ground and defending your own, uh, your own statement and your own uh, desires and passions. You are kind of lost, trying to find a guide direction, a guideline to know which way to go. And this can bring you some kind of anxiety associated and some kind of um repression, suppression, not knowing uh and feeling almost as a volcano, you know, where you contain all these energy inside of you and it's building up and it's building up and you have to watch out for it. Also because there's a lot of fire going on, you also have the king of wands in uh the main challenge. So the main challenge is again for you to take the leadership role, to you to act, to you to implement the actions uh, you need to take on your life uh, to lead it the way you want to. But maybe it's about you not really knowing what you want and what what are your desires. You are trying to clean the, the, the fog out of your way. And it's been a hard process for you to do that. And Pisces are really not uh, at uh, at all at best in being, you know, in this fire sense of doing things because they like to be passive and deceptive. They are water. They are calm, gentle, sweet person. But you know, life is a constant spectrum of experiences, and we all have to go through all this quality of elements to find harmony and balance. And this week, it's about you bringing forward the energy of fire, of taking uh, your own throne, being a king of your own liking or a queen of your own life, and, you know, implementing, taking the lead, the leadership role of your own self and your own desires. Of course, for you, in order for you to do that, and I think for in order for you to overcome challenge uh you first need to know exactly what you want which cup to follow and the advice is another seven and is the seven of cups also reversed so the advice is to slowly be aware of what's an illusion and what's really meant to follow and uh, an opportunity to take and a way uh, a way to go in your life so if in, the, if in the beginning you were not able to distinguish what's going on, which way to go, you're like all over the place, as an advice is for you to slowly, maybe going into your own nature, which is water, to slowly realize what is worth to stay and to keep in your life. And what it's not, because there's many things going on all in this card and in this card. 
So there's a lot of things going on. And you are needing to redefine, re-establish your priorities and reassess your dreams. Your What's a dream, a real dream, a dream you can act upon, you can take a leadership role on. What's the project you can go with and what's just an illusion, a dream uh, made out of your head in the cloud sense all your fears, your expectations, your, your neediness. It's a lot of discrimination, which is also not a quality, innate quality on Pisces. It's in its opposite sign, Virgo. So maybe tap into that Virgo side, shadow side, it's always there. You're the opposite sign, the polarity. And discriminate. This, is, this week is a lot about discriminating. Knowing exactly in all this different options and different directions and scattered thoughts and emotions realizing what it's worth what it's good for you and what it's not separating the waters separating the ideas and the concepts and analyzing it realizing it what is meant for you and what brings you joy and beneficial energy and what doesn't and then as you slowly start doing that that discriminating power, tapping into that discriminative power, you become the king of wands and you become the person and the authority and the action taker and uh, to implement, you know, a lot of uh, quality energy into your life where you decide what's going on. You decide what's going on in your own life. And you have to watch out about this suppression you are going through because the Zen message is suppression. And in the traditional tarot, it's also associated with the Ten of Wands. So another fire. This is the Ten of Fire. It's another fire energy. And it's the last of the, the, the numbers. It's the culmination point. It's the point of heavy duty. It's the point of burden and too much responsibilities and just feeling overwhelmed with life, as you can see in the card. But the problem with this suppression is that it's building up, like I was telling you in the beginning, it's building up. And you have to be conscious about about it, because if you're not trying a way to channel this really repressed energy that's causing a lot of inner turmoil, sooner or later this will explode and create or incinerate and a lot of uh, a lot of uh, you know explosive energy that's not at all uh, what you want to bring into your life. But if you keep doing it, the universe will make it happen. Because for you to realize things and steps and changes, you need to implement in your life. So in this week, the overall theme is just becoming aware, becoming aware of what are your choices, your real choices and taking a step, a conscious, active, proactive step on it, and finding a, heal, a healing way, doing some workout, creative things, something that gives you joy to release this repressed, stressed, really contained energy inside of you that sooner or later will make you um, have a health problem or a disruptive situation, a fight, anything that it's not good and it's bringing you more negative, Energies and qualities, and even more difficult, um, a, a more difficult energy to discriminate and make the choices you are being called upon to make, and distinguish what's real and what's not. So Pisces, I really hope you find a healing channel to to to, to cleanse and uh, liberate all this repressed energy. It's the primer primal advice I would give you because. Uh, you know, when the unconscious is so uh, repressed and so so contained, having no way of guiding you, having no way of letting you know intuitively, intuitively what's right for you and what's not, it will bring some kind of situation that will bring you even more, uh, from my opinion, even a more difficult situation that will be even more harder to get to the finish line ultimately we all want which is to have a happy life so pisces have a great week thank you for listening listening liking subscribing it really means a lot to me 
and we'll see each other in the next video.